Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is going to be a very quick video on the Ted Lindsay Award. Our finalists are Leon Dreisaitl, Nathan McKinnon, and Artemi Panarin. It is, of course, pretty hard to pick the players' minds compared to voters. The Hart Trophy, I believe, is going to go to Leon Dreisaitl, who I also believe this award will go to. I just say it's hard to pick the players' minds because Carey Price, who deserved players recognition in a sense, got from their polling the goalie of the year, which makes sense in a sense because he's still a hell of a goaltender, a great goalie actually. His numbers are just brought down a little bit because they don't play a fundamentally sound defense at all in Montreal. They actually play a very unsound defense. So that doesn't help with him at all. But that's why I brought that up. But I would say it's going to go to Dry because Dry compared to the rest of the players at a certain point this season, like they talked about on TSN a few weeks ago, Drysaddle was on pace with McDavid for a 150-point season, which has only been done a couple times by Mario Lemieux, Gretzky multiple times, Steve Eisenman, and then Nichols. So they all got it done in that period of time. And then one guy got it done in the World Hockey Association, but I'm blanking on his name at the current moment. Somebody got it done there as well. And I will have that for you in a minute. It was Mark Tardy. Mark Tardy had 150 points with the World Hockey Association with the Quebec Norkies in 77-78 as a fun fact for you. But that never really happens. His defense also got better under Dave Tibbet. Drysaddle played his greatest under Dave Tibbet, and it just keep getting better. Now, Nathan McKinnon, Nathan McKinnon also played fantastic for the Avalanche. So he deserves hefty consideration for this award because he stepped up when Landis Cog went down big time. He's been stepping up his whole career. The dude also had had his best season on the other end of the ice. It just keeps getting better and better and better. And then Panarin, who should be nominated for the Hart Trophy when that comes out, also needs to be in consideration for this. He's carried that New York Rangers team whenever – Chris Kreider got injured. It didn't It didn't matter because he was able to continue to step up along with Zibanejad. Those two guys were the carrying weights of that team with Kreider as the third guy, and they didn't miss a beat when he went down because of those other two. So he definitely deserves very hefty consideration. I just personally would give it to Drysaddle. Drysaddle has been great in the faceoff dot. He's been great on the power play. He's been great on 5-5. Five five. He's been a great playmaker. He's made everyone around him better. He's got rid of all those questions of, oh, is it McDavid making dry settle? Well, no, it's not. Now it looks like they're a Malkin and Crosby-esque combination there. And it even proves that when he gets injured. Uh, McDavid got injured, dry settle, stepped up. They're even proving that in that aspect. Obviously, the Oilers hope they don't have to prove it in that aspect too much, but they are proving it in that aspect. So this has been a quick video on the Ted Lindsay Trophy. I personally believe it will go to Leon Drysaddle. That's the one that's voted on by the players. For those that do not know, please stay tuned for my video on the Calder Trophy, which will be coming out later. Thank you all very much. Have a great rest of your day. This has been Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Gorick. If you like what you're seeing, please click the subscribe and like button below. Peace out, everybody.